Hey, I know it's early. It's about 515 and you're wondering, hey, Jeff, what's the weather going to be like for the weekend? Well, it's going to snow tomorrow. We're going to have a rain snow mix around here and it's going to get even colder than it's supposed to. Temperatures 30 to 40 degrees below normal for this time of the year. Here's our winter weather advisory. OK, we've got a winter weather advisory for the area shaded in purple. This is a winter storm warning. Both of these lasting until late Sunday night. You can see just the edges of a winter storm warning as well for the northern part of Idaho. And we have winds to be uh, concerned about as well. We have a wind advisory for the southern part of the eastern Idaho. We're at 17 degrees in Rexburg. It feels like it's about 10 with a breeze out of the northeast at 5. They will continue and we'll have breezes gusting up to 20 for the afternoon out of the north. And it's 17 in Idaho Falls. It feels like it's about 5. The sun's going to come up about 7.53. Our winds this morning are not clocking out at too big of a deal. So we don't have to worry about that. Our temperatures are another story. We're in the teens for the most part. It's 14 in Jackson. It's 10 in Toledo. It's 15 in Salmon. It's minus 4, thanks to the bears that called that in this morning in West Yellowstone. Or maybe they're hibernating. Maybe they're going to stick around and see what this is like, right? 18 in Pocatello. Here's the setup for the weekend. We've got a, a system that's going to move through the Pacific Northwest and bring us that moisture that we need to get this snow in here. Uh, so what, you, what you're going to see is the moisture first, then the cold air. A better chance for snow into Montana as we get into the weekend. The highest snow rates are going to be there, but uh, with, the, with this system, and it's pretty strong, it's going to push across and move into the northern U.S. So we'll, we'll get this sucker out of here by about Sunday, and we'll Will clear out, but that's when the cold air drops in. Here's the Viper cast, so we'll show you the timing on this. As we get into tonight, we'll start to see snow pushing into the central Idaho mountains, even deeper snow as we get into the pistol tip of Idaho, and it begins to wrap around into western Wyoming. You know the scenario, mountain snow, eastern highlands, and western Wyoming, and then we start seeing more of it into the overnight hours, and maybe a touch of it with a rain snow mix into the uh, Snake River Plain, and into the desert over toward Boise, more rain, and we even start to see snow that begins to blow into the Bear Lake areas, Montpelier and Burn. And then we talk about, uh, you know, accumulations, maybe a few inches uh, into the mountains, maybe just a dusting uh, to an inch or more into Idaho Falls, but we're going to mix it with rain as well. This is 4 o'clock on Saturday afternoon, so a real mess here. If you're going to be going out, I wouldn't recommend it because it's just going to get cold afterwards and the temperature is going to sink. The winds are going to just slide down from the north and make things really uncomfortable around here uh, with temperatures way below normal for this time of the year. There's that lake wind advisory that's in effect for the southeastern part of the state and over into Laba and McCammon for the afternoon. We'll be right there between 45 and 50 degrees. It will be freezing tomorrow morning. And that's prime snow making temperatures. We get up into the upper part of the state, the upper highlands at 38 for Island Park this afternoon to be 43 in Ashton. You're under that winter weather advisory. Driggs is as well. It'll be 35 today in Jackson. You're surrounded by a winter storm warning. You get down into the hole there. It'll be 27 tomorrow morning when you get started. Then uh, we go to Salmon and you're in, in that winter weather advisory as well that will last until Saturday evening. It will be 32 tomorrow morning. So you're going to get the weather first into tonight and then uh, your advisory ends earlier than that. And then we get into the Snake River Plain where we are falling under the guise of 46 for the afternoon, closer to 50 in Pocatello. And it'll be in the mid 30s as we start the morning tomorrow when the snow begins late tonight into tomorrow. So here's your local news eight day extended forecast and we got some cold days ahead of us here. 46 to 48 degrees, 60 percent chance of wintry weather tomorrow. It'll be 11 on Sunday morning. It'll be cold on Sunday and Monday too. 29 in the afternoon, 8 on Monday morning, 34 for Monday afternoon, and then in the mid-teens for Tuesday morning before we get you back into the 40s and the 50s, and finally more toward normal temperatures by Friday into the 60s because, well, it's Halloween, right? Pocatello, 50 the next couple of days by the afternoon, and then we'll get that cold in here punching through at 16 tomorrow night. 
It'll only be 30 on Sunday and you'll keep it in the mid teens to around 20 degrees. Blackfoot 48, 49 degrees, but we're going to see that snow push through here tomorrow as we work our way up to about 49. It'll be close to 30 on Sunday and Monday morning's low, our favorite channel and yours because they sign our checks 8 and 34 for Monday afternoon into the 40s and 50s as we start the week. Rexburg, it'll be in the mid to 40s for the next couple of days. A good chance of that snow on Saturday, and it'll be 9 on Sunday morning, 29 on Sunday afternoon in the 30s, 40s, 50s. Finally closer to normal by the end of the week. Salmon, 49 degrees for the afternoon. You get the snow chances first. It'll be freezing tonight, perfect for snow, and then 41 tomorrow with snow flying and 4 degrees on Sunday morning in the upper 20s for Sunday in Jackson. These breezes will continue and you'll see that snow push in there tomorrow. It'll be 37 degrees and 7 on Sunday morning with uh, temperatures in the upper 20s for Sunday and below zero for Monday morning with the sunshine poking out. It'll be 33. Let's check sports.